Canva has come quite a long way from a cool graphics designer to now a website development platform. For many churches, Canva is the go-to option to create anything creative from social media posts to communications graphics to presentations, and it feels like the possibilities are always expanding. And now its website building feature might just be a game changer once again. Earlier versions of this website builder option from Canva limited you to a one page, kind of like a landing page, with no menu navigations and no options for SEO. But in early 2022, they released a beta version of a website platform that overcomes these limitations. We are seeing the pros list becoming much longer and the cons list becoming much shorter. And apparently you're interested in this. In a recent poll to our subscribers, we asked, which website builder would you like us to do a walkthrough on? To our surprise, Canva was number one, and this is over WordPress with Elementor and Squarespace and Wix. Honestly, we didn't even know Canva did this until we started asking people which platform they would like to see us walk through. And now here we are. Yes, we are listening to your questions, and yes, we are researching Canva to uncover the good, the bad, and well, you get the idea. So subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more Canva creativity and possibilities in the coming weeks. Let's get into it, starting with the pros. Pro, both the free and the pro version of Canva allow you to build websites. The pro version gives you more templates and possibilities. Pro, when using Canva as the hosting provider, you can develop and publish a website completely at no cost. Pro, there are multiple templates to choose from. Filters, slides to build pages, landing pages, call to action pages, contact pages. Pro, this is a great way to make a mobile friendly website if most of your audience is viewing from their cell phones. Pro, it's an excellent option if you need a creative yet professional looking landing page. Click up here or check the description below if you're not sure what a faith community would be doing making a landing page, or if you don't know what a landing page is. Pro, it's easily customizable with all the features you'd expect of Canva. You can change the colors, the fonts, the text, the sizing, and you can add links to buttons. Pro, you can easily embed your Canva images and videos into the templates. Pro, the newer feature allows you to make multiple page websites with the menu bar. Pro, you can also have a contact form with the integration of Typeform. Extra Pro, Google Forms and Microsoft Forms can be linked to. All right, those were the pros. Let's talk about the cons. Con, the URL link that is generated for your Canva website is going to have the word Canva in its name. For example, it will say your community name dot my dot Canva dot site. In some circles, this is bad form and not exactly professional. However, you could mask this with a bit.ly link. Con, you are limited to five free complete websites on a Canva domain, which could be a limitation for some. Con, you can purchase a domain directly through Canva, but it's actually a little pricier than a standard domain would be. You could make the argument that this price would balance out because you don't need to pay a hosting provider, but it's a con. Con. The buttons don't allow for any kind of animation when you hover over them, so it's not always obvious that these buttons are clickable. So those were the pros and those were the cons. What do you think? Drop a comment below and let us know. Does this sound intriguing? Are you ready to dive in? Do you want to learn more? My name is Sammy and here at Digivangelism we post weekly videos for progressive leaders of spiritual communities. So if that sounds like you or if this video was helpful, subscribe below so you don't miss a single video of digital ministry goodness. We brought the knowledge today. Now it's your turn to put it into action. Peace.